Welcome to my new kitchen. Doesn't this thing look great? Already been using it, been cooking food and everything in here. So right here we have our ice maker. We have our fridge over here and we got a smaller one so we can have more cabinet space here to keep more stuff. Our microwave right there. And a nice smaller oven that I'm getting ready to cook the pizza on. And so it's a very nice little kitchen here. Our Keurig and then also the Instant Pot. Of course, got our dishwasher there, but it's a very beautiful, nice, small, it's gonna be so much easier to clean this kitchen. So I hope you guys enjoy this in the upcoming videos because it definitely adds a little bit more style than my old cookie cutter type of kitchen. All right, and then also we're gonna be having a giant garden here going across. You can see a very big one. We're gonna be growing tons of different vegetables, may raise it up since in Arizona, it's kind of harder for the soil, but this way we have a lot to go with. And then right here behind in this empty space between the tree in there, and we'll throw in a compost just so we can really help everything in the garden here grow and be a lot more. And then the other thing is right kind of in the line I am, we're gonna do a gate across just so we don't have any issues with these dogs that will be roaming around here. And this tree right here, it's a peach tree. So we'll be enjoying that this summer, but a nice big yard for our dogs to run, but then also for us to do some gardening, which we've always wanted to do and just not had enough resources. And then we have some amazing sunrises and sunsets over here. And in Arizona, they seem to take so much longer because our mountains are a lot short. So what I've been having primarily through my moves is a mix of chickpeas, rice, black beans, and then lentils, red or green. And then also been using a lot of enchilada sauce. And so with these, I like mixing them up and changing to different ways of doing it. So it's not exactly the same thing. Sometimes I'll just do black beans and rice. Other times I'll leave out the black beans, do chickpeas, lentils, and the rice. Gives it a good variety, and I have gotten a ton of use out of my Instant Pot. And so I'll show you one of the ways I've been doing it. And I season this, throw it in the Instant Pot, and I can keep it there for about a day. After a day, I either better have it in the fridge or just better throw it away. That's why I haven't been making as much since been moving on the go and not sure if I will have a fridge. Let me go ahead and show you one of the things I make. And then also, if you stay to the end of this video, I'll show you what type of pizza I really enjoy having. It has made this move a lot easier. When there were times I didn't want to fix the Instant Pot and wait for this. So for this one here, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my bag of rice. This is about a third bag of rice. And then about half a bag of black beans. Add in the red lentils. Gonna do half a bag of that. And now that I have these ones all in here, I'm just gonna rinse them two to three times. Then for these ones, I like filling them up a little under half with the water.
throw it into the instant pot now. And then I like to season it while when I'm cooking it this way. So add chili powder. Garlic salt. Onion powder. Little bit of cumin. And I've really been enjoying this zesty blend garlic herb. And I just mix that up a little bit in here. Throw the lid on it, make sure it's sealed. And lastly, I set it to pressure cook for 30 minutes. And then I turn off the setting to keep it warm, just to let it cool off. And then you can unseal it or let it unseal by itself. Once it is in there, I'll throw in some of the green enchilada sauce. Our food has been in the Instant Pot for 30 minutes now, and I released the valve so it will let all the hot air out. So let's go ahead and check to see what it looks like now. So you can see we got a lot of beans and rice in there and the red lentils they actually dissolve and just blend in with everything so it's great to thicken stuff up if you want to use the green lentils those ones will will stay together now i'm going to go ahead and grab the enchilada sauce and then pour that over it See if I kill myself since I got the hot enchilada sauce. And of course with it all mixed up, gotta give it a try to make sure it is all good. Yeah, pretty good. It's definitely still very hot, so it needs a little bit longer to cool down. But other than that, it's ready to serve up. This is a great one for moving because you can have multiple meals throughout the day and then save any leftovers you can. You can seal up the Instapot like I did and save it for at most a day. But then if you do have a fridge and you weren't waiting for your fridge like I was, you can go ahead and throw the leftovers in the fridge. That method is definitely preferred over just keeping it in the Instant Pot. Let me know in the comments below what, mo the what movies you know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what meals you enjoy when you're moving. Let me go ahead and show you what my favorite pizza is. I really enjoyed the Dea Supreme ones. And I've tried a lot of the different ones and the Supreme one is just the best. All the others, they just don't have it. This one's really good on here. And as far as the meat on it, it is the Beyond Meat and it's really good. I've tried a lot of the others and just none of them really hit the mark. And this one just tastes so good. I highly recommend it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook this up. I can already tell you it tastes amazing. And for this one, I follow exactly what it says on here since I have a smaller oven now. Set it to 450 and I cook it for 15 to 16 minutes there. And these have been great for me. We can either run to the store or keep them in the cooler for about a day. And it's because we haven't had a fridge the whole time and moved from one place to the other. This one, we've always had an oven, so it was easy enough just to throw it in the oven and have our meal there. And along with the Instant Pot, they have been just lifesavers in moving everything over. With the Instant Pot batch cook, a lot of different stuff. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cook this pizza and then I'll be giving it a taste test and enjoying it so much. 
All right, and the pizza's all done. It looks very good. Got a little crispy on there. Mm hmm. Now you guys will probably laugh at this, but since I was moving, I just wanted to use one plate. So I would just slide it right underneath the pan. And then I have my pizza all ready to go. And so that's how I prepared my pizza on there. I just slid it right on because our pizza cutter and utensils were all packed up. It's made it super easy, slide it on, only add one plate to clean and do while moving everything around. So I have no idea what it is with these pizzas, but I just love them. I have to actually watch when I'm not doing this movement to eat too many of these. So this is more of a special occasion or like this moving just made things so much easier for me. And now I do eat this whole pizza and especially during moving, it was my main source and I would munch on it as I was packing up stuff, moving everything around. So it came in very handy and just took it with me wherever since it was on the single plate here. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. And until next time, you guys have a great rest of your day.